Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's session, we will see aspect oriented programming in action. So we will implement that in one of the very basic Spring Boot application. So now I have already created one small Spring Boot application where I have few endpoints. So let's uh, go through whatever changes I have already done. So the first file is pom.xml file. So this file contains all the dependencies which are required. So here we have Spring Boot starter web dependency, DevTools dependency and uh, Spring Boot starter test dependency. And if we see in our main application, it is nothing but just a single method which is used to run the application and this is a spring boot application so that we have specified using at the rate spring boot application i uh, don't worry we will have a detailed session on how to create spring boot applications from scratch as well in our upcoming videos but as of now just consider it this is the spring boot application which i have created and if i go to the controller there um, i have added three different methods all three are get mappings so the first one is slash one with the mapping slash one so what it does is it will return get hyphen one so the return type is string here you can see so we are returning get hyphen one and the second method which is slash two uh, it is accepting one request parameter of name q so what we are returning we are returning get two and whatever value we are passing and similarly in the third method we have 3 and q which is a path variable itself so what we are doing we are returning get hyphen 3 and whatever value is passed as a path variable that we are returning so now as per our first requirement if you remember from the previous video so suppose we want to log a message whenever this method starts as execution so here uh, in our normal terms what we can do we can write a system.out.println or log.info uh, inside that method as a first line that this method is called so that's what we have done here so now let me start the application so that we can test this basic uh, endpoints so here you can see application has been started and uh, tomcat is started on port 8080 now let's try to access all these three endpoints and see the output and logs before that let me just clear out this log as well okay so now let's try to access the first one so here you can see method one is called so that is exactly what we have printed here uh, that method one call should be printed whenever this endpoint is called now let's try to access the second one so here what we are doing we are passing the request parameter q as a lazy programmer string okay so when we hit it so method two is called okay. and if you see it has been returned as well to the caller so get hyphen two then whatever string we are passing as a request parameter and now let's check the third one where we are passing it as a path variable so again we are able to see method three is called so now you know the problem is we want to separate out this particular logic of logging out of this controller itself so for that we can make use of aspect oriented programming so what we will do we will create an aspect class so now i have already created one uh, uh, package for aspect and one aspect implementation class as well so what changes we need to do in this case let me show you so here we have to add two annotations one is add the red component so that uh, spring boot is able to uh, manage this particular bean and second one is add the red aspect so from where this add the red aspect uh, annotation will come for that we need to add one dependency in pom.xml if you see this is the dependency that we have added which is spring boot starter aop so this will handle the aspect oriented programming so at first what we will do we will create point cuts Point cut is nothing but an indication for uh, aspect oriented programming to where they want to execute one specific uh, set of code which is written in the aspect class. So point cut will be like I will create a point cut for method 1 which will indicate whenever method 1 is called do these operations. Now let's create our first point cut for method 1 so here it's a point cut using at the rate point cut annotation and inside that we have to mention for which method we want to create a point cut so here first star represents the return type of the method and after that the complete path including the package for that method so here we have lazy programmer rest api controllers and my controller dot one and we are not passing any argument in that so this is a kind of providing a signature of your method for which you want to create a point cut and after that just a simple empty message uh, we can write like log message point cut for one method once this is done then we can go ahead with writing the advice for this method so advice is nothing but what code we want to execute whenever this method is called in the application 
एडवाइस इज ऑल्सो ऑफ मल्टीपल टाइप वी कैन राइट बिफोर आफ्टर आफ्टर रिटर्निंग और आफ्टर थ्रोइंग एज वेल बट इन दिस एग्जाम्पल वी विल यूज बिफोर so this is the advice we have written so in the advice we need to use at the rate before annotation and as an argument we need to provide the point cut method that we have created so log message point cut 1 was the method name which we have created that we have mentioned here so what it will do it will bind this particular point cut with this advice so whenever this method is called this advice will automatically run Join point is also one more concept which will contain the detail of that particular method. So we will see uh, in the further statements. So what we are doing here, we are printing AOP before advice. So before advice is called. So we are printing this in the log, and also we are printing which method is called. So join point uh, contains the detail of that uh, currently executing method. So that we can get using join dot get signature. So we are printing the method name that this method is being called. okay so now as we have uh, implemented the aspect oriented programming or uh, separate out the logging for method 1 let's try to remove uh, the sysso statement from our controller itself for 2 and 3 i will keep it as it is as of now until we implement the same for these two methods as well okay and just one more thing before we move for the demo we need to add one more annotation here that will enable the aspect oriented programming so that is enable aspect j auto proxy so this particular annotation will enable the proxy creation so that the aspect can create a proxy across the controller and execute advices before after before or after any method execution so once all of this is done let's uh, save and restart the application so i have already added a dev tools uh, dependency so how that will help me it is helping me i don't need to restart it again and again whatever changes i am making it's automatically reloading all those changes now let's try to clear out the log and test our scenarios so now let me start from the third one first so when i hit on third one you can see method 3 is called and this is the output coming from directly controller because we have not yet implemented aspect for this for second one also method 2 is called and when i try to execute the first one you see the output which is coming it is coming from the aspect implementation so here before advice is printed and you can see the complete method signature is also printed that is what we have configured there if you see in the aspect implementation we have printed get signature so signature is first return type which is string then name of the method with the complete package name is called so this is how we can implement logging without making any changes in the business logic itself so here you can see aspect implementation is a separate class so what it is doing it is creating a proxy across this my controller okay and whenever this particular method is called whatever is defined in the point cut so at that point we have defined a before advice so before the actual call to the method it will call this before advice and execute whatever logic we have written inside okay now let's try to create a few more point cuts and few more advices okay so for method 2 and 3 i have created a common point cut so uh, this is also uh, an option available so we can also use the wild card character like star for the matching patterns because method 2 and method 3 they are both start with t and uh, can have any number of uh, arguments so what i have implemented here in the point cut that any method which is starting with t and have any arguments for those this point cut will serve and uh, i have also named it uh, meaningfully so that log message point cut starts with t so all the methods which are starting with t this point cut will serve the purpose and now this is the before advice using this point cut itself so in that i have printed the similar thing like aop before advice for start with t and we are getting the signature of the particular method okay so before we test this again let me remove the sysso statements from these two methods as well i am just commenting it out <clears throat> now just save it and the dev tools will automatically reload my application let me clear out the logs as well and now let's try to test the new point cut and advice as well okay one we have already seen so let's not go into the execution of one let me check for the second one so here you can see for the second one whenever slash 2 
endpoint is called so it will print this value because that is what we have configured in our before advice similarly let me check for three as well so here you can see now the signature has changed because we have called a different method now what we can see is like all these methods are returning some sort of data in the form of string so suppose if we want to access that particular data how we can access that also we can do we can use the already existing point cut but we just need to use a different advice that advice is at the rate after returning so let's try to code it and see what that particular advice does <clears throat> So here we have at the rate after returning. So in this we need to mention the point cut like uh, we are using for log message point cut it starts with T for method 2 and 3. And we have to mention one more key value which is returning and the value of the variable that we want to use. So what it will do, it will store whatever is being returned from that method, the actual method that will be stored in the variable ret. And similarly, we have to pass the same thing as an argument in the method as well. So we are passing string ret. And similarly, I'm printing the first line AOP after returning advice for starts with T method. And I'm just printing whatever is being returned from that particular method. Okay. Now let me just save it. And application is getting reloaded again. Let me clear out the logs before we test this. Now we know for method 1 we have not written any such advice which will print out the return value in the logs. Okay, so let me execute that as well. So it is nothing but just before advice and signature of the method, right? Now let me execute the second one. <clears throat> Here we are passing a request parameter Q which is equal to lazy programmer. So when I execute this, so here you can see we are exactly returning get to lazy programmer. So this is what we got in the output so after returning advice for starts with t method and actual returned value so we can also make use of the returned values if we need in our business logic similarly let's try to execute it for the third one as well so here you can see the same thing has happened the same advice was called for method 3 as well so this is how we can implement the aspect oriented programming and keep the cross-cutting concerns separate from our business logic. That is it for this video. If you want to learn more about what is happening at the proxy level in uh, aspect-oriented programming, please do let me know in the comment section so that I can prepare one video for the same. Thank you so much for watching. Keep learning.